G'day, Daniel Kazinas here. We're back working on the jet powered surfboard. First thing I want to do is try and make a muffler for this thing. I also need to make the stinger pipes on the end of the expansion chambers to get the most power out of them. Okay, I welded around there. Look how much that plate distorted though. Weld around most of this one. I'm just gonna cap the end, cap the other end, and then I'm gonna have a little pipe sitting off there. So let's get that done. There's that little muffler, which is going to bolt sort of through the back of the board there. It took quite a while to make that actually, which I had a metal 3D printer. When the board's not running, it'll try and sink underwater. So what I need to do is make some sort of little flap over the end. I've got an idea to see if I can twist these into the shape I want and see if it happens. Put that on there, got a little rubber, rubber flap glued on there. I'll probably have to do some filing to get it sitting nice and flat. That's all bolted in. Actually listen to some of my comments and uh, put little rubber packers under everything so the engine's kind of half rubber mounted now. One of the other things I've got to do is sort out a fuel tank. So I have cut the top off this aluminium bottle and I'm gonna weld that in there. It will mount in there somewhere. Let's do that. I welded those nipples in and drilled through them. So this is gonna sit in here like that. That one will feed the fuel to those carburetors and then the breather will run out that one and it'll run out the top of the board and out the uh, inlet. The 3D printer's just making me a little bracket to hold the fuel tank. First one didn't go so good. Leave you alone for five minutes and look what you do. I printed this little fuel cap, printed the thread in it and it screws straight in so that works. It's good because it's a weird size, it's like M25 by 1.5. But I've drawn a better one up on the computer, I'll print that once the printer's finished. Those plastic brackets are printed now, tank's sitting in place, fuel line's hooked up, got a little brass T, 3D printed the cap, it's got a little o-ring there, and that's just bolted to there for now and I'm going to glue the bottom down. To hold the tank in, I can just use rubber bands.
All right, so after reviewing the footage, got a heap of thrust when it first started up. It sounded like both motors were going, but even, even then I don't think they'll be going properly. Then you hear one motor rev up, which I think is the uh, rear motor. That's when the coupling let go. I think the whole time it was dragging the front motor. Only running, running on one motor. It still had a bit of thrust, but it really needs I really need to test it again with both motors running properly. Even still, I think the impeller might be too steep a pitch. I then tried starting it up again, and only the front motor was running, and it would not rev up at all. I tried it and put the choke on it, it would rev up, so it's a fuel, the fuel's not getting to it. I think the carburetor is blocked with a small piece of alloy from the fuel tank, I think, so I'll have to fix that up next time. Well, we had some water squirt, which was great, but the coupling's blown, I think, and, uh, Motors won't rev up, I think they've got a bit of aluminium blocked in them from the fuel tank. So let's do focus on something else for a bit. Started working on the top of it here, got it cut out, and then uh, Christo from Fazy Luck helped me roll this up. Link to his channel in the description. There's a spot here where this is going to go. 3D printed this little thing and it came out real good. It's got a pulley in here. Lines up with this hole. That's going to be the pull start cord. It's going to feed back through. We have another pulley back here. and It's going to pull the pull start. So I can start it from here. Some of this uh, pull filter pipe is going to go on here. And I'm going to have the throttle cable will be inside there as well. And my handle, my throttle and that will be up here and up in my hand will be the uh, air intake as well so I can go through water with no problems. Even go bust through some waves I reckon. Yeah, so if I get the motors to go properly. Then in this gap here, this piece of plastic is going to come up underneath. It's got a M100 by 3 thread on it. The other half's getting printed at the moment. And then that'll screw on there so I can put my arm in and access various parts when I need to take it apart because this piece is going to be siliconed and then riveted down. This is 1.6mm thick as well so it'll take my weight a whole lot better. I've been saving these styrofoam blocks so I'll glue a few of these in here that'll take the weight you know so I can stand on it and it's not going to crush it. And it's super light so that's what I can use at the front. Then I made another piece to the back here. I'm obviously going to shape it and stuff to make it fit so I can stand on here. This is going to be a hatch though so I can get to the motors. Also I need some support under here so I'll have to make some little frames just to disperse the load. I can't use foam back here because it will just melt. Alright let's see what's wrong with these motors, I'll pull them apart. Alright, diagnosis time. Look what's happened. I thought the coupling had broken, but it hasn't broken. The bolts just went undone. Um, you know, it's my fault for not doing them up tight, but you can only do the bolts up so tight because they're pulling into plastic. So if I just put lock tight on there, I'm sure it would hold. So the coupling is going to work. That's great. Caterpillar. Mm. Do you want to put that caterpillar somewhere? Mm. And the other good thing is the jet, the impeller held up. I thought it was going to break, but it didn't. The plastic coupling, that held, holds up as well. It's hard to tell because I never think thought it actually went full power both motors. But I think that this Impala is a little bit too aggressive. Maybe I'll make it with one less, because it's got uh, three fins on it. Maybe I'll make it with one less fin. Or I'll change the pitch of it. I don't know, I'm open to suggestions guys. Leave a comment. What do you think I should do? I learned a lot from that little test. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.